Back when I competed, our numbers were limited and the support we had was limited. And it's grown and it, it, it just feels good and it, it really truly is bolstering and it just makes me happy. It's a moment that I'll always remember for the rest of my life to have the chance to be a part of this exclusive, inspiring group of wonderful women is just truly an honor. I still don't believe I won it 11 years ago. It's really just an honor to kind of be a part of that history and to see these girls that are nominated now kind of continuing that legacy. And it's just incredible to be surrounded with such just powerful women that have made it. You know, they have done their sport, they've gotten the education that they wanted, and they're doing incredible things in the big world. what I had won first. You're up against every single amazing athlete from every sport. So then it's a massive deal to realize you won out of all these sports and every college um, around the country. The legacy of the CWSA, the former cup winners and representatives from Division Two and three athletes of the year in the very first Inspiration Award winner. The whole weekend you kind of get a, a better understanding of what this award symbolizes and um, just meeting great uh, women athletes, it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, Alice Fernandez grew today, and I grew up, you know, as, as that little girl at the fence waiting for their autograph. And now I'm friends with them, and now you know I have this relationship with them, and it's really cool to sit here and think, like, wow, like you're exactly who I looked to growing up, and who I wanted to be like. And um, it's it's crazy because if you would have asked me way back when I was little, I never could have imagined that I would be here today. in different years things were not like they're today we all fight for our sport to you know just grow to see that that actually happens it's it keeps us hopeful and and fighting